Hey, Dan with EF Block again. We're back out here in Real Verde at Jack and Susan's. You can see the block there behind me. Uh, Jack's doing this himself, and I'm telling you what, he is a landscape contractor, but uh, this guy is really, really doing some quality work here. I'm going to show you around a little hey, bit. Hey, Jack, here. how's it going out here? Good, not bad, Dan. So you uh, you got this up today, or did you work a little bit yesterday? No, pretty much. We uh, we just started this morning. I laid out a couple blocks yesterday to get me rolling, but uh, we've been working at it since early this morning. Boy, oh boy, I'll tell you what, Jack. This is really, really a quality job. I'm gonna go down there and uh, shoot, get some shots of that uh, footing down there. And this was Lone Mountain Concrete did this, right? Yeah, they did the the footings. They just poured the footings. I did all the digging and rebar work on them, and. I just had them come in and pour the mud for me real quick, and off we go. Absolutely. Well, that's. I see you're not even doing hardly any shimming or any shimming. It looks like uh, looks like they really got it nice and flat for you and level. Yeah, they did. It's pretty much leveled off really good. They did a good job on it. Good quality work with Long Mountain. The rebar's all in the right spot, and then you're going to take a four-foot piece and bend it and put it around that corner, right? Yeah. Well, really looking good, Jack, and... And they're, it's just incredible. This is really, really a beautiful job, bud. Oh, thank you. Plane flying over now, but uh, you can see Lone Mountain when they poured it. Then they went ahead and popped a dry line in there to double check and get the layout for Jack. You can see the block here. There's some more pallets over there. We busted those down into four foot high pallets so he could handle them better with his bobcat. And you can see just this morning he's got probably 30 block up by himself. So uh, how do you like working with it so far? Oh, it's great. Good material to work with. You know, it's, it's just nice and easy. It goes quick because they're, you know, 5 foot by 1 foot by 10 inches wide there. Just drop them on there and glue them away and you're all set. Set your rebar in between them and keep building up with them. But yeah, good product. Well, I like it. Thanks a lot, Jack. Yeah, no problem. It's always a pleasure working with a craftsman. Yeah, you can see out here where the, if you do the footings right and you get a one foot step, you can see how nice that transition is there. And then there's another one over here. Again, Jack uh, didn't do an engineered pad. He just went 18 inches in undisturbed soil. And uh, Jack's really doing a good job getting the logos facing the right direction for me. That always looks good in the video. Well, Jack, you're doing a heck of a job out here, buddy, and uh, I can't get over how neat and clean it is. So uh, just keep up the good work, and, uh, and, and we'll see how much longer we are, you're out here. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. No, not a problem. We'll be here for a while, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, remember, keep them logos outside and right side up, huh? You got it. All right, buddy, thanks. No, no. All that's right. it for today out here at Jack and Susan's in Rio Verde. Uh, we're going to wrap this up. Remember, uh, if you like this video, please share it. Uh, please check out our YouTube channel, EF Block YouTube. Let's go ahead and Google that. And go to our website, uh, efblock.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.